Well, thank you so very much, Madam Chair, and I want to thank uh, Senator Lujan for letting me get ahead of him uh, today. Chairwoman uh, Roseman Warsaw, it's great to see you again, and uh, thank you so much uh, for coming to Jackson County, Georgia, just last week uh, at my invitation. Um, I think it was an important conversation. It gave us an opportunity to hear directly from rural Georgians uh, about the importance of broadband, the challenges they're having, and how, how best to get the job done uh, with respect to the signing yesterday, uh, a couple days ago, the bipartisan infrastructure bill. And you and I had some great conversations there, and you got a chance to talk face to face with Georgians on the ground. Um, but I was particularly struck by one conversation we had with a third year medical student. You will recall he was a student at the Morehouse School of Medicine. And uh, he said that because his house had such slow speeds, he had to drive to a friend's house to finish his homework, his medical school homework. Uh, obviously we need that student to be helping us make our way through the uh, remainder of this pandemic, and he's trying to get online to do his medical school homework. We also heard from a parent about how the internet is so slow that if both she and her daughter are trying to log on, neither of them can get anything done. She's a nurse practitioner online. She needs to do broadband uh, work. Her, her daughter needs it to study, and they can't be online at the same time. I think this is a travesty. I think broadband is to the 21st century what electricity and electric lights were to the 20th century. The lack of reliable broadband is hurting our kids, it's hurting vital services like telehealth, it's hurting our economy. Um, if confirmed, uh, will you commit to working with me and others to support the big goal of connecting every single household in Georgia, but particularly our rural areas in, in Georgia and all across the country to broadband. And can you speak to where that will fit in your portfolio of priorities? Uh, thank you, Senator, for the question and the invitation to join you in Georgia last week, uh, which wasn't a hardship assignment. <laughs> and the, uh, the folks we met with, you know, they all told stories that stay with you. I, I can't imagine being in medical school and couch surfing just because that's what you needed to do to go to class during a pandemic. Though I have some um, conviction he's going to be an awfully good doctor one day. I think so. Um, but the bottom line is this is our moment. It's like what rural electrification was in the prior se century. We're going to do something audacious. We're going to connect every household in this country, and we're not going to stop until we get 100% of us with fast, reliable, and affordable broadband. And I think we should say it that clearly and that simply because it has to be our goal. That's how we're going to produce more equity in this country and more opportunity, not just in uh, that corner of Georgia, but throughout uh, the entire nation. Thank you. And, and I, I was uh, honored to uh, be there with you to, uh, as we talked and heard directly from these families. Um, and the broadband issue, as you know, is it's multi-tiered. It, we're talking about accessibility. We're talking about affordability. We're talking about access uh, to devices. To actually take advantage of broadband, families need devices. You couldn't get online, but some can't afford laptops and tablets. And when working families are struggling to afford monthly bills, they don't have hundreds of dollars just lying around to purchase a device. In fact, about four in 10, four in 10 lower income families don't have a laptop uh, or a tablet at home. Do you agree that ensuring that all families have access to laptops and tablets is a critical component to closing the digital divide? Uh, yes, I do. Thank you so much. I, I agree, obviously, and that's why I introduced the device access for every American uh, act. This bill would provide essential devices like laptops, and tablets for free to low-income families so that parents and kids can access opportunities for work, school, health, and more. I'm so glad that this uh, legislation is part of the Build Back Better package, and I'm going to work really hard uh, until we get it signed into law. I look forward to working with you in the future uh, to making sure that everybody's connected. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.